Tonight, the Hamilton Junior Bulldogs are taking on the Oakville Blades. My name is Michael Caselli. I play for the Hamilton Junior Bulldogs. I'm number eight and I play right wing. I want to be drafted into the OHL. We decided to follow Michael Caselli, an up-and-coming player with the Hamilton Junior Bulldogs organization who hopes to make it into this year's draft. Only 14 years old, all this boy does is think about oh, hockey. I really knew I wanted to play is when, during the summers, I didn't have anything to do. I went playing hockey and I knew I missed hockey and I knew I wanted to keep it. Okay. It's like, like can skate or something like that. And I'd do there and I'd go with my age with a group of kids and then I like, not even half of like what the semester was, I guess. I was bumped up to kids that are like four years older than me and like started skating around with them and I just that's how I started. We talked to Michael's dad, Frank Caselli, about everything he's been through with Mike. Yeah. Uh, I can be his biggest critic and his biggest supporter. Um, you know, he always and I try to do it just because he knows I know he wants to improve. Uh, there's times where he doesn't want to hear about it and uh, times where he'll say, uh, oh, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? He's asked me for feedback. But, uh, I think he always looks to see if I've approved his play. The OHL is where it all started for many NHL superstars like Mike Richards, Corey Perry, Steve Stamkos, and future NHLer John Tavares of the Oshawa Generals. With all this talent to back the OHL up, it must be worth it. The Hamilton Junior Bulldogs AAA organization is based out of the Mohawk 4 Ice Center here in Hamilton. There's a lot of preparation and things that go on behind the scenes of this AAA team. As far as me helping them, uh, there's not too much I can do for them. Uh, they're going to have to do it for themselves. What I try to do though is uh, educate them and their parents if I can and uh, to the draft. So we have had uh, Rob Kitamara, who's head of Central Scouting. We have had him come down and speak to both the boys, the players, and the parents to explain how the, the draft works, how making the draft list works. The Hamilton Junior Bulldogs organization recently took the minor midgets onto a trip that took them to Colgate University in New York State, an NCAA hockey school. Michael wasn't really that impressed with it. I'd rather go play in the OHL. I don't think I, I want that route in the NCAA. But if I ask him down to that. If school opportunity uh, arises, uh, I want him to, to look at that option. I prefer he go to, uh, to, a, to get an education first than hockey. Uh, or, you know, hockey and with an education. So um, it's, it's hard to, to determine at this point, but he knows that my expectation for him is to get uh, post secondary schooling. Yeah. Um, right now, it's coming to choices between like, I like the uh, dental hygiene or something like that. But that, no, <laughs> hockey. And what happens if Michael doesn't make it to the OHL? Try out for the Hamilton Junior Air Veterans Tier 2. It's not a lot different from the OHL, but the OHL is the OHL. Nothing's going to change that. Other than that, if I get cut from there, I'll probably just play Junior B. OHL scouts look for everything in a player, their skating ability, their physical attributes, if they're rough, how their stick handling is, and the leadership that they show on and off the ice. I got a letter from Peter Ropitz saying I'm potentially getting drafted to the they I've been noticed by the Central Scouting Bureau. Uh, I even talked, I've talked to like a couple of scouts personally, yeah, like I went to an OHL camp. Yeah, it just you mature so much after stuff like that because you see what other people bring to the game and not just yourself. With scouting being such a stress, how does one deal with it? Anything. Stress. Stress? <laughs> like every game you got to be worrying about who's up in the stands watching you. If you make a mistake, there goes maybe a scout who doesn't like you anymore. Or uh, if I don't get drafted, what's going to happen? What am I going to do? Stuff like that. It's just stressful. Scouts look on from the stands, hoping that they'll be the first one to discover the next Sidney Crosby, the next John Tavares, someone that they can put as a face on their organization for their junior team. But um, scouts will come to where the kids play, hopefully, and uh, will find the, uh, 
the good players and the diamonds in the rough. It's very important to know what type of player you are. And we asked Michael this. I would say Kovalev, Alexi Kovalev. I love the way he plays. Uh, I, I usually, I'm a wide open, like I, I'm always looking for the spots to go to. But I always thought like the physicality of it, like fit off. Like I love hitting, so I bring both sides of me. That's, <laughs> it's like what I, it's like a little kid dreaming of it. But I'm just kind of put into perspective that I'm going to go to the NHL. Yeah. In a couple more months, we'll know if Michael Caselli made it to the OHL. And with his spirit and determination, I'm pretty sure he will. Reporting from Mohawk College News, I'm Nicole Burns. See you at the draft.